ever have a map where it looks fine to you? To everyone else, it seems like it's all messed up in pink and black textures like this. Simple fix for this, you just have to pack rat the textures into the BSP pile and learn how to do that in this tutorial. Welcome to the remake of the 9th Hammer tutorial. This tutorial is on Packrat and VMEX. What Packrat is, is it packages all the custom content that you have made or gotten for your map into one map file. So that way people aren't downloading a map, materials folder, models folder, or sound folder. What we're going to show you here is how to do that. And to do this, you have to download Packrat. There's a link for that in the sidebar. And after you do that and you have your map file, you want to load up Packrat, and you will need Java runtime environment. I'll also put a link to that in the sidebar. So if you don't have Java, um, there's a link for it so you can download it and install it. So then after you extract it, you'll have these things. I run packrat.jar. I advise you to do the same. Then it should defaultly open up to your maps folder. And if it doesn't, open it to there. Because it's where you're going to need to look for your map file. So now you need to find your map. I'm going to use light effect from my lighting tutorial. It'll open up, it'll open up with everything that's currently in here, and there's cube map default that everything will have. You can view it and it's just the default cube map folder file. And in the other one, the old tutorial, I told you to go to add and you add each individual file. Well, in this version, which is the newest version of Packrat, there is an auto button now. You click auto and it will automatically scan the map and your directories for every file that's not currently in the map. You click yes, it adds everything all by itself. But if something's blue, it's not added yet. You have to go to file, save BSP, and then usually you just overwrite it. Click yes to overwrite. It'll write the map file, and then if we go to our maps folder, which is right here, you'll notice that it has increase the map size a lot. BSP.BAK is the backup. You can erase BAK, the .BAK at the end, and then you can load it up in Hammer. But now the map has gotten extremely bigger from 113 kilobytes to 2.5 megabytes. So you want to be careful about doing this. If you're making this for a server, make sure they have a fast download, or see if they need a cap on how big your map can get, and then play off that. And the second thing I'm going to show you how to do is if, let's say there's a map and you want to learn something from it, there's a program to decompile the maps so you can open them in Hammer. This program's called VMEX. There's also a link to it in the sidebar and you will also need Java for this. So after you download VMEX, I'll put the cracked version on there for everyone. It will, if you've used VMEX before, it some maps are protected from it. This cracked version will never ever take no for an answer. It will always decompile the map. So, it's just for you guys. So then you hit browse. And you browse for the map. Typically in your Steam folders where you want to look unless you've downloaded from like FPS Banana or somewhere. Then you browse for it. Maps. And I'm going to use BA Jail Extreme Lights Out. It was made by a friend of mine. Um, he said I could use it for this to show you guys. And then you leave all the settings default. Everything pretty much default. And then you click decompile. And when that button pops back up, that means the decompile is done. So then you load up SDK. And then from SDK, you can load up Hammer Editor. Then from Hammer Editor, we are able to load the map. To do this, you just go to your Counter-Strike Source folder, C-Strike, Maps, and you'll see it added uh, underscore D at the end, that stands for decompile, then it's now VMF. We can open the map. And it loads just like if it were a normal map, and here is the map that he worked on. Everything that he ever did was in here. 
the only thing that might happen every now and then is you might get one solid brush did not load or something stupid like that but this is pretty much it for on how to decompile a map this is everything in his map like I said look forward to the release of this map it's gonna be great so hope this tutorial helped you and keep watching my tutorials thanks